Imagine if you were a game developer, putting your heart and soul into making the best game possible. Then, some random guy shows up and decides to completely break your game. Well, that person is me, and in today's video, I will be showing all of this in front of a game developer. You're gonna- you're gonna hate me for this. I'm just telling you now. <laughs> Alright, let's see. So, I'm gonna glitch to the top of the roof. What'd you do? <laughs> you literally just teleported. I just see you teleporting just like all the way up. <laughs> What'd you do here? So right oh, here. you used the glitch, didn't you? Yeah, no. Oh my I god. I changed that up. I mean, the glitch could be used for anything. Oh wow, wait, you glitched through that touch brick? Yeah, yeah. Oh my god. I bet like the level designer is like really like fuming right now. Yeah. Like, what did I design this for? <laughs> Who is he, you might ask? Well, this is Taki, and he is one of the game devs for the hit backrooms game, Apirophobia. And you might recognize him. Well, that's because he was the one who ruined my world record speedrun. Oh yeah, that comment I added. I know the speedrunners are fuming right now. <laughs> <laughs> so in retaliation, I decided to blow his mind by entering areas that weren't meant to be seen by normal players. Okay, you see this part of the map? I see it. I'm gonna try to cross that. How though? Uh, by doing a super jump. So for those of you who do not know what a super jump is, let me explain. So Ublitz does his super jumps by crouching first, then mid-crouch uses the freeze glitch. Then, he unfreezes and immediately freezes once again, which results in him floating right above the ground. He can control how high he jumps depending on how long he freezes for. The longer he freezes, the higher he jumps. He can even control which direction he wants to go, simply by using the WASD keys. Now, when he finally unfreezes, he sinks into the ground for a split second. As a result, the ground acts like a trampoline, resulting in all the force which accumulated during the freeze to launch him up into the air, thus executing the super jump. By doing a super jump. I held it for 80 seconds, but I just cut it so you won't have to see the whole process because it's, it's just nothing. It's just frozen for 80 seconds. So it's just a long fall because I'm trying to cross the gap between the two uh, places. But yeah, there I hit something and I'm going to land about uh, soon. Yeah, I see it. Boom. Yeah, oh, okay. <laughs> Still bouncing. And there you oh. go, I land. And I don't know what this place is. Oh, I know this area. This is the dev testing area. Before we explore the dev testing area, let me give you a quick rundown for those who don't know anything about the game. So this game has multiple deadly levels and environments you have to go through, each having their own unique monster. And your only goal is to survive. The best thing about the game is that it's completely free. Plus, it's multiplayer, meaning you can even play with friends. Yeah, this is where they test out all the new interactables and basically everything. Oh. Okay, that makes sense because I can see like grass. I've, I have never seen that in the game. Like, you see that? That's correct. Oh, yeah, it's to test out the footstep sound effect. Oh, okay, that makes sense. Okay, that makes sense because like there's different materials on the ground and I'm like so confused. <laughs> oh, so what do you think about the glitch? The super jump? Yeah, that's really impressive. The super jump glitch? That's really cool. I genuinely thought you teleported. Like, I was so confused. <laughs> From my perspective, I think that you're freezing and jumping at the same time. I don't really know. It's really confusing to. Uh, I turned on uh, Roche, uh, Ray Chasers. Chasers. Yeah, yeah, to make it more interesting. Yeah, there's just random water like floating around. Okay, it makes sense. All right, if you guys want to play this game or do the glitches mm -hmm. I did in this video, the links are in the description below. Some stuff I've never seen before, like in the game, like this. Yeah, that's a trust. Pretty sure it was to test out a climbing. All the animation. Climbing for the game. The climbing animation. Yeah, probably. I have not seen those things in the game yet. And also, uh, what is this? Like what? <laughs> uh, no clue. <laughs> oh yeah, there's this huge wall. I found. I have no clue what this was for. So I just. Oh uh, yeah, it, there's a box inside that. I don't know. It's just a big box. But before we explore that, I have some questions for you. What was your role in the development team of Aprophobia? I was the lead in programming, and I also did some little game design on my end. I didn't really discuss that with the whole dev team. I just added little, you know, how do you call it? Little spice to stuff like quality to of life. make it look better. Yeah, a little quality of life to make it interesting. And yeah, I also saw myself kind of as a just more interactive with the community. The community. To yeah, kind of I've hype everything that. up. You even made that secret level. Yeah, level 666. I'm not gonna leak anything because I don't know. Maybe they're still adding it because we had like a whole build for it. All right. 
Let's get to the other side of the giant wall. So I've checked inside by doing the... Uh, you did the glitch. Yeah, I did the glitch. And there's absolutely nothing there except for one thing. Just a random closet. It's so dark. Just a random locker that you can hide in. Like, that's about it. What was this for? No clue. I think it was just generally for testing when the game was in the, its early stages. And they just decided to keep it there. After showing him that I could glitch through walls, run at unimaginable speeds, and other various glitches, we finally said our goodbyes. But... I was dissatisfied. I wanted to do something bigger, better, and more outstanding than what I did earlier. All for revenge. That was why after our call, I started experimenting. I glitched out of every single level in the game, explored every nook and cranny, and then I stumbled upon it. I feel like all the levels are connected somehow, because I think I saw a glimpse of level zero when one of my glitches messed up. Oh, no, no, no. We use chunk loading, which means levels will disappear after you're done with that level, so it shouldn't stay there. I know I saw a silhouette of some kind, like an actual place. Yeah, probably because I think it's a water place, which is because you can't spawn in water terrain in Roblox, so there's just random floating water everywhere. When he brushed off my doubts, I was skeptical. Did I really imagine the whole thing? Or was he deliberately hiding something? Something that your average player wasn't meant to see. But as days went by, my mind kept drifting towards this mysterious place. What if my theory was right? What if maybe the game devs were truly hiding something from us? First of all, I had to confirm whether this place truly existed or not. So how do you do that? Well, you can confirm that by killing yourself. That's right, by dying. D-Y-I-N-G. So if you jump off into the void and accept your death, you can somehow see farther into the darkness using this i was able to confirm the existence of this mysterious place now the only question was how do you even get there you can try super jumping your way there but unlike the dev testing area the landing platform is too small it will take hundreds if not thousands of attempts trying to find the precise power and ang i made it it took way too long when i first landed in this corrupted level zero for the first time the first thing that stood out to me was oh what the heck happened to the roof what even happened it's kind of creepy not gonna lie another feature that stood out to me was how eerily similar this place was to level zero in fact it's an exact replica if not for the fact that the roof is missing i would have easily mistaken it for level zero is that all there is to this place i don't see anything else i couldn't really get a good look of this place on the ground so i decided to do a super jump to see what I can find. Wait, what? Why is my screen shaking? Oh, what the heck is hap- What? Oh my- One word, terrifying. Why was there a monster in this screwed up place? What the heck were the game devs thinking? I mean, I know it's a horror game, but I didn't expect to find that thing outside the map. Oh, seriously, what the heck? I really want to take a good look at this thing, but the problem is, I don't want to die. So the solution I came up with was to super jump onto one of the walls, just barely out of the monster's reach. Yes! Oh my goodness, yes! Wait, is that the monster? Bro, why does it look like that? What? Bro, it can't get me, yes! Oh my, it actually worked, how? Also, what is that giant wall? Is that the dev testing area? Well, I guess it's time to die. Thinking that I made a huge discovery, I decided to take a picture of the creature and send it to the official Apirophobia Discord server, hoping that a game dev would notice and explain themselves. But then, wait, what's this? I'm assuming it's level 16 because the howler looks different? Wait, this monster was added during the new update? What the heck? That guy was right.